Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at the all new Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite. Now this is the little brother to the Tab S6. It does come in a lot cheaper, but it's much lower spec than the Tab 6. Now I've done reviews on a lot of these Tab series from Samsung on my channel from the Tab S4, S5e, S6, and a lot of the A series also. I'll tell you right now, if you're looking for a high-end Android tablet, definitely go with the Tab S6. It's got you covered in all areas. It does come with an S Pen. The screen is absolutely beautiful, quad speakers, and a Snapdragon 855. It's a beast in terms of Android tablets. But it definitely doesn't come in cheap. Anywhere from $600 to $760, depending on the model you pick up. And that's where the Tab S6 Lite comes in. Base price on this, $349, 4 gigs of RAM, a 10.4 inch LCD display, and it does come with a cheaper S Pen. On paper, this looks like a nice little tablet. In terms of raw performance, the original Tab S6 will destroy the light in every aspect, but I still think we can get a lot done with this little tablet here. Now inside of the box, you're obviously going to receive the Tab S6 Lite, USB Type-C cable, and a 7.5 watt wall charger. The S6 Lite does support up to a 15 watt fast charger, but they only include a 7.5 watt brick in the box. The S6 Lite does support an S Pen and it's included in the box. This one does feel and look a little cheaper than the one that came with the original Tab S6, but after using it for a little while, I actually prefer this one here. It's made out of plastic, so is the one with the original Tab S6, but this has more of a pencil or a pen feel rather than the flat design that they used with the original. I do want to mention that I am not certified to really tell you about how good this S Pen is with the Tab S6 Lite. There are other YouTube videos out there on drawing with this pen here. I'm not an artist, but I do use it for taking notes and cutting out screenshots and things like that. And if I want to use it for drawing the occasional stick figure, it works great. So I've had some time to spend with the S6 Lite, and I can tell you right now that it's a solid Android tablet, but it's not a super powerhouse. It'll definitely get you by with everything you need to do every day. But if you're looking for a raw CPU or gaming performance, you definitely might want to think about spending a little more and getting the original Tab S6. Okay, so on the Lite version, over on one side, we do have a micro SD card slot compartment. This will hold up to a one terabyte micro SD card. We also have our volume rocker and our power button on the same side. They've also kept the 3.5mm headphone jack, and we have dual stereo speakers on this, tuned by AKG with Dolby Atmos. It sounds really great, I wish they would have added a quad speaker array like the Tab S5e or the S6, but as far as Android tablet speakers go, this still sounds really great. Now if you watch my channel, you know I don't really cover the cameras on these tablets because none of them are great, but we do have an 8 megapixel on the rear that'll do 1080p 30 video and a 5 megapixel camera in the front for your selfie cam. Moving over to the specs, for the CPU we have an 8 core Exynos 9611, this is a 10 nanometer processor. We have 4 Cortex A73 cores at 2.3 GHz and 4 A53 cores at 1.7. The GPU is the Mali G72 MP3, 4 GB of LP DDR4 X RAM. They offer two variants of storage, now none of these increase the RAM. You can pick up the 64 GB model or the 128 GB model, but both of them do have a micro SD card slot and support up to a 1 TB card. As for the display, we have a 10.4 inch TFT LCD at 2000 by 1200. The screen looks great, it's definitely no AMOLED, but it will get you by. It has built in dual band AC Wi Fi and Bluetooth 5.0. Dual stereo speakers tuned by AKG, a 7,040 milliamp hour battery with fast charging up to 15 watts, but like I mentioned, you only get a 7.5 watt brick in the box. And the only claim to battery life that I can find on their website is up to 12 hours of video playback. Like I said, it's got that 8 megapixel camera in the rear and a 5 megapixel in the front, and it's running Android 10 with one UI 2.0 right out of the box. And I know I'm going to have some people asking, but no, this does not support HDMI over USB Type-C, and it does not support Samsung DeX. I was really hoping it did, but they save that for their higher end line, like the S4, the S5e, and the S6. So far, the whole user interface has been super smooth. I haven't noticed any hiccups at all. Everything opens up really fast. We do have AC Wi-Fi built in, so you can connect to your 5 GHz network. It's definitely been a treat to use, and this is great for a little media consumption tablet. If you want to watch Netflix, Hulu, Disney+, YouTube, everything's going to load up real fast. You can watch everything at 1080p, 60fps. And as you can see, it buffers through very easily. The screen looks great for an LCD. We also have those dual stereo speakers built in here, tuned by AKG. Now this does support Dolby Atmos, but it's really hard for me to demo that. 
but I have downloaded a couple of the Dolby Atmos demos and it definitely works even with these dual speakers. So yeah, I mean, as an everyday use tablet for checking your emails, browsing the web, watching YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, or any of the streaming apps you like to use, this thing's definitely going to work well. So like I mentioned, I'm not really certified to use one of these S Pens. I'm not an artist, I can hardly draw a circle to save my life, but there are some cool little features that I do utilize with this and the original Tab S6. Now the pen that comes with the light definitely seems a little cheaper, but it works just as well. I personally prefer the one that comes with the light because it has more of a pencil or a pen form to it and it's not flattened out. You can use the other S Pen on this tablet, but it's really not designed for it. So I do use the S Pen for taking notes. It works quite well for this. We also have a little section that we can access with the pen itself and it'll bring up a list of different things that we can do with it. And one of my favorites here is called Smart Select. You can use this with text and that's mainly what I use it for, but I'm just going to go ahead and cut out a picture here from Wikipedia. You can lay it over any app. And I'm guessing this would be great for artists too, kind of a reference image while you're drawing in another app like Art Rage or something like that. And there's another one here called Screen Write. It'll pretty much just take a snapshot of your display and you can write over top of the screen. There's a few more here like Create Note, and that's mainly what I use for taking notes. There's also Live Messages and AR Doodle. And as for drawing on the new Tab S6 Lite, the pen actually keeps up pretty good, and I'm sure this is really going to depend on the app you're using, but for this one here, I was using PinUp. It's pre-installed. We get a little paper sound, which is something I personally like. It actually helps me take notes a lot better. It feels like I'm really writing on paper. But like I mentioned, I'm no artist, so I'm going to try to find another video on YouTube with somebody really testing this S Pen out, and I'll leave that link in the description. Now it's time to check out some performance benchmarks. On the left-hand side, we have the new Tab S6 Lite. On the right-hand side, we have the 8GB version of the original Tab S6. Since the Lite version is half the cost of the Tab S6, I wanted to see if we're getting half performance. So first up, we have Geekbench 5. This is going to test out the CPU performance. On the light version, single core, 345, multi, 1280. Moving over to the original Tab S6, single core, 744, multi-core, 2526. So yeah, I mean, it's looking like in the CPU performance department, we're getting about half performance, which I expected because the light version is half the cost. But this doesn't tell the whole story. Let's move over to some GPU benchmarks. So this is 3 d Mark running Slingshot Extreme. We tested OpenGL and Vulkan. On the light, OpenGL 1547, Vulcan 1495. On the original for OpenGL, 5321, Vulcan 4863. So we're not quite getting half performance with the GPU here. We're actually way down from the original Tab S6. So the final test I ran was Antutu. Overall score on the light version, 176,626. On the original, 458,878. And if we look down the list here, we have CPU, GPU, memory, and UX. On the CPU side, the original Tab S6 is a little over two times more powerful on the CPU front, but when we take a look at that GPU, we can really see just how much more powerful the original Tab S6 is on the GPU side of things, and this really matters with gaming and emulation. Speaking of gaming, here we have Call of Duty Mobile downloaded from the Google Play Store. I have it set to medium settings, but I have the extreme FPS going, and everything works great here. It's definitely playable on this tablet. So this is one I definitely had to test because everybody's going to be asking about it. You can install this, but the device is not officially supported by Epic. you got to download the Epic installer. You're going to set it to low, and I would recommend 20 FPS. Right now, I'm set to low 30, and we can't get a constant 30 out of this game. It's just really laggy. You could go through and set the FPS to 20, but when there's a lot of stuff going on, you'll probably still even get a dip down to 15. But in the end, I wouldn't specifically go out and buy one of these just to play Fortnite on. It's not a great experience. But Tencent really knows how to optimize their mobile games because this works amazingly on the tablet. This is PUBG Mobile, medium settings, extreme FPS, and it works great. I mean, this is fully playable on the Tab S6 Lite. And even the drop-in was super smooth, but I've been able to run this game at full speed on lower-end devices than this. I mean, I gotta give Tencent credit, they really do know how to optimize these mobile games. And before I wrap this video up, I did want to test a bit of emulation. Now, seeing how it's performing here, I will be doing a full emulation video using the Tab S6 Lite, so keep an eye on the channel. 
But right now it's looking really good for Dreamcast. Here's ReDream with Dead or Alive 2 at 1280 by 960. And I'm pretty sure I could have went up to 1920 by 1440 with this one. Next up, we have PSP using PPSSPP, Tekken 6, 3x resolution, no hacks, no frame skip, running really good. And finally, at least for this video, we have the Dolphin emulator. Now, I do need to do a little bit of work with this. This is Soul Calibur 2. I'm using the Vulcan backend and performance isn't great. To tell you the truth, I just don't think that this tablet has the power to push Dolphin at full speed right now with a lot of the games. Some of them might run pretty good, but overall, we do have a pretty low spec GPU in this unit. But nonetheless, like I always do, I will have a full emulation video coming up soon. So overall, the Tab S6 Lite is a great choice if you're looking for an Android tablet in this price range. At $350, I still think it's a little overpriced, but this is how Samsung tablets are priced right now, and I really haven't found anything under $300 that's any better than this one right here. It's got a nice screen, great sound, comes with a S Pen, awesome battery life, and overall, I mean, it is a decent tablet. And it also has enough power to pretty much play any game from the Google Play Store, minus Fortnite. They still need some optimization for these lower-end chipsets here, but overall, it does perform well. So if you're looking for an Android tablet in the $350 price range, I think this would be your best bet, unless you can find the Tab S5e on sale. Regular price on that is around $399, but I have seen them go on sale recently for as low as $329, so keep an eye out for that deal. But that's pretty much it for this one. I really appreciate you watching. If you're interested in picking one of these up, I will leave some links in the description. I'm also going to try to find a video on YouTube with somebody drawing with this new S Pen here. As you saw, I can do a stick figure pretty good, but that's about it. If you have any questions or you want to see anything else running on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite, let me know in the comments below and definitely keep an eye out for my full emulation video. But like always, thanks for watching.